Hi, I'm Becca. This is Glenn, Lily, Weeing, and Sebi. In the summer of 2013, I went through the chandelier drive through tree in the town of Leggett, California for the first time and came back with this souvenir hat. When people asked me about my hat, I realized I'd only driven through. So I decided to go back with my friends and make a documentary about the tiny town with the drive through tree. Oh, the tree, yeah, it's sad that you can't see it. And it's just lost all its bloom. We had somebody who lived here 30 odd years, right at the end of the campground. And um, he died, unfortunately. There was this tree and it's a cherry blossom tree. And we wanted to try and preserve it for, because of this person who we cared for very deeply. But it's very hard uh, to plant under redwoods. Nothing really grows. And it was the time of the year that you do not transplant trees. But we thought we'd have a go. And when they took the tree out, it was actually two trees um, together. And so we planted one here in this position and one up there on the hill. And right from the very, very beginning, it sprouted. Its roots were all torn out and, and last week it was in full bloom. Mm, I think it might be the atmosphere. My name is Billy Harrison. I'm born in the north of England, Manchester, and then came here in 1981. We are um, at Redwoods River Resort, one of the best places you could ever stay at. It's a happy place. It's mystical, full of first growth redwoods. My name is Ruby Arias and I'm from Whittier, California. I'm the secretary here at the school. We're a very small rural school. We have a total of 65 kids from preschool to high school. We've been here 16 years. Uh, it's 24 hours a day. 365 days of the year, and very hard work. I feel very blessed that I um, found this place, and it's been 16 of the happiest years I've ever had. I have an older sister who moved here in the mid-70s, so we always came up for vacation, but then she got sick, um, so I came up to take care of her. We just loved it here so much and decided that's where we wanted to raise our 14-year-old. One thing I noticed when I first moved here, um, the kids had an easier time speaking with adults than in the city. There seems to be more of a, a wall, I think. I just don't understand how I did it my whole life. You know, everything's so fast, the traffic. And not only that, the people, my sister that I go visit, it's like, oh, we gotta go do this, we gotta go do that. It's like, now, 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 now. Up here, the kids can be um, out on recess, and there's deer out there in the field with them. I don't think I could ever live uh, again in a concrete jungle. Driving, you, you wonder what's out there and, you know, how many bears are out there and how many, you know, wild animals and... <laughs> you know, people come from all over the world. I've had people who have just wanted to drive a car through a tree. Some of the children that were children when they came are now grown up and they're bringing their children. And the children love this place because they can run all over and they feel free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
in the mornings, the mist comes through, and it's, uh, I've never experienced anything like it. When the mist is coming through the trees, it's, it's pure magic, pure magic, yes. When a limb comes down in the winter, sometimes, it's like a whole tree. It's just, the ground shakes. It's, it's unreal. One of the things I like to do is sit out at night and watch the sky. And you see, you do see things. I mean, everybody says, oh, it's just satellites, where you wouldn't see them in the city, but you see things all the time. And it just adds to, you know, the magic of it. And the redwoods, just knowing they've been there for thousands of years, some of them, it's like, oh my God. You know, there weren't even people here at the time. And it's still here with us. I'm not spiritual now. I just feel uh, better when I'm in the redwoods, you know, uh, not just in Redwoods River, in the whole of the redwoods. I was born <clears throat> three years after the war started. So I, I went through, you know, running from bombs. Um, but I survived, yeah. Maybe that's why I like it out here, you know? I like the peace and the quiet. <laughs> 